come see me in my office? Uh, sure. Oh! Sorry, it's just so hot in here. Oh! Um, okay. What did you want to talk to me about, misconduct? Well, it appears you're falling behind in class. What, falling behind? No, you've given me an A on, on every single assignment. Yes, but all the other students have super A's, and you just have plain old A's. Super A's? Mm -hmm. And it's terribly disappointing. Oh, it's really hot in here. Aren't you hot in all those clothes? Oh, hi. I don't retain body heat very well. A young man, I can definitely help with that. Huh? Well, regardless of your inability to relax a little, we're going to need to hold some private study sessions outside of class. I, I seem to be doing all right. Young man, did you just raise your voice at me? Am I going to have to give you detention? No, 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 please. Uh, you I'm are so naughty. I'm That's it. Detention after school. Uh, but I... Do you want Saturday school as well? No, I... Then shut that pretty face of yours up, and I'll see you at 4 p.m. sharp. Yes, ma'am. Yes, miss. Conduct. And just like that, she gives me detention, dude. Dude, that's totally bunk. Right? <sighs> I mean, at least she's super fly, though. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, miss Conduct is like the hottest teacher at Aluma Springs High. I mean, I am super jealous that you got to stay in her class and I had to drop it. <sighs> okay, first of all, ew. Second of all, that's my teacher, okay? That's, that's so wrong. Hey, at least you get some super fly eye candy when you're in detention. <laughs> <laughs> Have you no shame? None at all. <laughs> I gotta go, I'll see you later. Hey, don't have too much fun, if you know what I mean. That's still gross, dude. It's still true. I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Andy. Now begins your detention. Don't do anything to make me punish you more. Andy does his best to behave but misconduct tries to do anything she can to catch him slipping. She reminds him of the rules as she torments him throughout detention. Ah! Young man, are you trying to leave detention early? It says detention ends at 6 p.m. sharp. I was testing you. That clock is a minute behind. How could you be so careless? How is that fair? This is high school, nothing is fair. If I were feeling up to it, I would give you detention every day for the rest of the school year. But, lucky for you, I'm feeling generous. If you come to my study session, I'll drop all of your punishments. Okay. Yeah, where would this study session take place? Yo, no way! Yes way, and she wants me to go over to her place tonight. Dude! That's like totally tubular, man. <laughs> it's totally terrible. I mean, I don't want to go to her house alone. That's how you wake up in a bathtub full of ice with one of your kidneys missing. Yeah, I hope you wake up in her bathtub. <laughs> Dude. I don't see what the issue is, bro. Like, hot teacher, alone, in her house. <laughs> Doug, do you hear yourself? She's my teacher, okay? Besides, I don't, I don't think she'd try anything like that. Uh, besides, you don't want your parents to find out you got detention. <laughs> if my parents found out I got even so much as a B in anything, they would actually kill me. I had a hard enough time convincing them I was actually studying and not in detention yesterday. Oh crap. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go to this crazy woman's house. Hey, well if things go sideways, just give me a ring, bro. Like. I got your back. 
You're my home skillet. You're my home skillet biscuit, brother. You're like, you know. I mean, you know. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, but, I, but if something bad did happen, would it really be that bad? You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thanks, I guess. You know, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. yeah. <laughs> you got a one track mind, Doug. Uh, man, that's all the track we need, baby. <laughs> Oh. Well, there's a sight for sore eyes. Come in before you change your mind. Oh, um, hey, nice place you got here. It's because I'm divorced. I'm sorry. Just me on my lonesome trying to teach these wayward students, but you seem to have found your way here just fine. Uh, hey, what if we get this study session going, huh? My parents want me back at a- Shh. Don't ruin the fun. I'll go get the tools to enhance your learning. Tools? Why are you sitting at the table? Where else am I supposed to study? Well, I guess learning can happen anywhere. Should have let my parents kill me. What was that? I said maybe I should have brought my own pencil. No need to worry. I have this bag of learning enhancement tools to make learning more fun. If you want to get in touch with your inner child, you can even call them toys. Now, to begin the math lesson. Math? You're my English teacher. Did I tell you you could speak out of line? Sorry, ma'am. How old do you think I am? Um, fifth, uh, four, third? What is 10 plus 19? 30? Andy! I'm sorry, I'm really bad at math under pressure. It's 29, which just happens to be how old I am. Uh-huh. Sure. Good to know. Let's combine a history lesson with this math lesson. In Western societies, the title Miss is for people who are young and under 30. And ma'am is for people who are older. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Conduct. Um. I do have a question, though. Yes. Let's say you're 29, which, which you obviously are. I'm glad to see you're learning. Um, yeah. And I'm 17. Which is the modern 18, but go on. Uh-huh. Wouldn't that mean when you were 18, I was six? Age is just a number. Jeez! Anyway, moving on. Let's begin the biology lesson. Do you think I could use the bathroom beforehand to, you know, freshen up? Why, yes, of course. Thanks. Doug? Doug! Doug! You have to help me, please. Uh, do you need advice on how to handle a woman? Well, <laughs> when a man and a woman are interested in each other, well, they... No, Doug, knock it off, okay? She's being weird and creepy, and I'm not interested. Come uh, on. This is a fart knock and killjoy. Fine, I'll be over there soon. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Um, please hurry. She's starting the biology section. Wow, can't miss that part, huh? Doug! All right, all right. Oh, Andy. What took you so long? You've been gone for over an hour. Oh, you know, I just, uh, Accidentally drank my grandpa's prune juice. 
instead of my cola on accident, so silly me. Well, that's all right. I don't think anything else should be interrupting our wonderful evening together. Oh, great. <laughs> Who could that be? Hey there, Miss Conduct. Oh, hey, <laughs> Doug, what are you doing here? Oh, you aren't here because Andy likes an audience when he studies, are you? What? No! Doug is here to get me out of this situation safely. Right, Doug? Actually, I'm here to make sure you remember this for years to come, brother. <laughs> a camera? I wish I had some like Doug in my class. Now, to continue the biology lesson, since you seem so intent on running away from authority, I thought we'd replicate the relationship between predator and prey. You'll be the handsome little elk, and I'll be the jaguar. I hate both of you! Now this kitty's gonna... Stop right there! There should be plenty of evidence. You are under arrest, misconduct, for having or attempting to have illicit relations with a minor. What? Attempting to abuse your power to pressure somebody into having romantic relations is wrong. What you did to Andy is not only disgusting, but it's dangerous, no matter how attractive the perpetrator might be. Hey, just, just a number. Tell that to a judge. I'll be here shortly. Hey, so, um, I've got a question. Was being my friend part of your cover? Yeah, basically. So what you're saying is I have no real friends. Yeah. My advice, start talking to people your own age. <laughs> hey, you wanna like, I don't know, get a burger for old time's sake before you take off or something? Okay, sorry I asked, sorry, I get it. I'm gonna wear my backpack. I just, I have other, other. No, no, it's fine, no, it's fine, I get it. I, who wants to hang out with me, fine. Oh, thank God. <laughs>